Micropolis is made from the finest wheats and barleys, hand cut and delivered fresh to your door, daily, by wholesome down-to-earth folk who take pride in what they do. After a long day, they just want to pull their pants down and go pee-pee in the counting house. Is that too much to ask, your lordship? Download from the game's GitHub page, colon https colon slash slash Dark Castle was published for the Macintosh in 1986 by Silicon Beach Software. Although ported to many other platforms, there is still no substitute for the original. This lies in stark contrast to my fourth grade teacher, Miss Giblets, for whom there was often a substitute, owing to her preoccupation with the having of babies and the selling of drugs. By fourth grade teacher I mean mother, by babies I mean me, and by drugs I mean meats and cheeses of every kind. Beef Drop, as you well know, ran for president in 3008 but was beaten in the election by a collection of paper hats and plastic spoons, the campaign slogan of which was Spoon Hat 3008, Dance for Me, and although its foreign policy led to the destruction of all humanity, humanity itself was to blame. Whenever asked for an outline of said policy, Spoon Hat 3008 would always reply The destruction of all humanity, don't vote for me, I'm serious about this. Beyond Dark Castle was published in 1987 by Silicon Beach Software. As beaches go, being made out of silicon isn't all that impressive. Most beaches are made of it, which is to say they're made of sand, which is largely composed of silicon. Other ingredients in sand are, in alphabetical order, butter, sour cream, capital gains tax, character actor Donald Meek, molybdenum, butter junior, and sand. This concludes our tour of the world's beaches. Please keep your fingers clear of the snapping postcards, but feel free to peruse the deadly giant crabs in our gift shop. Oh, my little cheese toast, I love you with all my heart, but sadly it can never be. Our respective governments would never approve of this union, the union of cheese and toast. I'll have to scrape my top teeth along the toast, peeling off the cheese into my mouth and de-escalating the tension that exists between our respective governments. If only the cheese people would send an emissary to the people of toast as a signifier of our continued partnership between their two nations, we might be able to achieve a lasting peace, a treaty whereby all people of cheese and all the toast men hold hands and gather around the sacred oven of unity set to custom broil and each people's sacrificial lamb is blessed with the pepper shaker of anointing before being purified in the cleansing flames of Lake Minnetonka. That ain't Lake Minnetonka, R.I.P. Prince Rogers Nelson. What? This playthrough features my new hit single, Sydney Hunter is here to stay. Boy, you're gonna get sick of that. Please call your local radio station and ask them to play it. Then tell them to call you back and tell you whether they played it or not. Because, let's be honest, nobody listens to the radio anymore. Which exonerates you from having to listen to the guy when he calls you to tell you that no, in fact, he did not play it. That's when you start singing it to him and demand that he put you on the air that very instant. Not that anyone will hear you. Hell, you may already be on the air when he calls you. Since nobody is listening, why, it may be you who was the radio station all along. And the person you thought was the radio station person, the person you called, was actually... Oh, I've lost interest in this description. Football Heroes Turbo was conveyed into the world via the phenomenon of parthenogenesis, meaning it had no father. There are some parthenode sharks, and I believe there's a frog parthenode or two, but they don't associate with the shark ones. For one, if the sharks came to any dinner parties the frogs invited them to, they'd surely die. Have you ever seen a shark balance itself on a lily pad? They fall to their deaths every time. And by fall to their deaths, I mean land in the fresh water beneath the lily pads and succumb to whatever effects ordinarily befall saltwater creatures when exposed to fresh water. Some sharks have been known to get on rather well in fresh water, but I think they secretly found a discarded salt lick and they swim around that to evoke nostalgic feelings of home. Beyond Dark Castle for the C64 is the sequel to Sitting Around and Waiting for Them to Build Dark Castle, an obscure little game that died of a heart attack long before it ever managed to exist. Please consult the American Heart Association for details on how to be American if you plan on having a heart attack of your own. Passing shot is what happens when you're diabetic, but you're running from the law and you don't have time to take your insulin and so you call up your little buddy and he runs alongside you and administers the injection before running faster than you and winning the race, which I forgot to tell you you were running to begin with. The law was also running the race, which is why you were running from them to begin with. You know what, this description is stupid. I captured the video at 480 interlaced, I'm sure it'll look terrible, but what do you want from me? I'm not your servant. Oh wait, yes I am. I'm your humble servant. If I was a bee, I'd be your bumble servant. As it is, I'm Aunt Bee from the Andy Griffith Show. And if you think I'm going to give you the recipe for my prize-winning pickles, you've got another thing. Okay, it's gasoline. The secret ingredient is gasoline. I don't soak the pickles in it so much as I just drink a gallon or so as the judges are approaching my table. They're so intimidated, they give me the pickle prize out of sheer terror of my wrath. My moan wrath. It outgrapes, you know. Haiku OS appeared to me in a dream and told me to bring its message of sharing and caring to Sharon and Karen. 
Sharon and Karen Grumblethwap of 20 East West Porridge Lane, Sierra Nevada Foothalls, 9021 Foot. This video has been sitting on my hard drive, aging like a fine cheese that has been left out to ruin. So ruin it, and ruin my life. Oh, if I only knew how much I meant to me, why I might even give me a kiss. Give me a kiss right on the inside of my own mouth, which I've been licking for months now. That's the tragedy of life, isn't it? That we all go around licking the insides of our own mouths. Good night, my love. I shall never forget me.